Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 28. And in this tutorial, we are going to start taking a look at how to use loops with arrays. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys have ever heard that saying, the space between your fingers is right where mine fit perfectly. Now, I know that's kind of a cute saying to a girl and it's like a line in a song and all that, but this is exactly how loops and arrays work. They are pretty much made for each other, okay? So I've got some code here from the previous tutorial where I showed you guys how to make an array and uh, we actually deleted an array element and we were echoing array elements out individually. But now let's take a look at how to loop through an array and print out every single one of these elements, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this code and then we're going to start off our loop. Now for this example I'm going to use a for loop but it's possible to use uh, a while loop or a do while loop as well. Okay so uh, we're going to start off with for variable i is equal to zero. So this is basically our counter and the nice thing about starting our counter at zero is that this array also starts at zero. Uh, remember that Ryan is element zero. So we're going to use this variable inside of our loop later on whenever referring to these elements. Now we happen to know that this array <clears throat> actually only has four elements. So we've got Ryan, Sean, Kyle and Quinton. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I know that I only have to repeat while I is less than four. So while I less than four and the reason for that is uh, because we start counting at zero. So zero, one, two, three. Once we get to four, there are no more array elements left. That's when our loop needs to end. Okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and increment I by one every time the loop iterates. And of course in here, all we have to do is just say echo people, if I can spell people right one day, okay, echo people I. So this will basically echo out whatever element we're working with at that time. Uh, I should probably just append on a break statement, I mean a break uh, tag here as well, okay just to make everything appear nice and neatly. But like I said, what this is going to do is the first time it runs, I is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to echo out people zero, which happens to be Ryan. Then the second time we uh, iterate through this loop, I is going to be one. So we're going to echo out people one, which is Sean, and so on and so forth until we get to the end of our array or until we get to uh, i is equal to 4 and then it will stop. So let's go back here and just click refresh and as you can see I've got Ryan, Sean, Kyle, Quinton. So we have printed out every single element in the array. But now although that code already works there's a little bit of a problem here in the fact that if we decided to add one more element to this array so let's say I was just going to put one more element in here and we'll uh, say the girl's name was Kirsten or something, then our loop suddenly doesn't work anymore because we have to change our counter to five before our loop will work again. Okay. Um, otherwise we'll end up not printing out Kirsten's name uh, when I is still four. Okay. So instead of actually using a fixed number in our uh, loop over here, we can use a function that will count how many elements there are in the array and then we'll be able to loop through the array until the array ends. So in other words, our loop is going to be dynamic. If the array is shorter, it'll loop less times and if the array is longer, it'll loop more times. Okay, so the function that we can use is called count and it takes one argument and that is whichever array you want to count. So count people will then return how many 
elements there are in the people array, which in this case is five. So now when we go back here and click refresh, we've got Kirsten printed out. So our fifth element is included. Okay, and again, if I go ahead and take Kirsten out, I won't have to change anything here in my loop because this is going to be dynamic. It's going to count our array every single time uh, it loops. So we're going to know whether or not uh, or how many elements there are in the array. So now it's going to work again perfectly with Kirsten not being in the array. So that's pretty cool. And that's how to loop through arrays. Again, you can go ahead and try this example out with a while loop or a do while loop. I'll leave that up to you guys. It's quite simple. All you're going to have to do is just change the loop, but still use a counter somewhere along the line. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.